Geyser spray slowly fossilizes the trees where it landed preserving the geyser's past and providing a glimpse into. A recent study revealed that Yellowstone's famous steamboat geyser has suffered a decades-long drought caused by by a history of drought a new study finds. As global temperatures continue to increase forecasts predict the American West will become increasingly arid continuing drought in this area could slow and potentially even stop Yellowstone National Park's famous geyser eruptions according to the study researcher. Small changes in precipitation can influence the interval between the eruptions explained Shell Hurwitz a hydrologist at the United States Geological Survey USGS who led the study so more water means more frequent eruptions whereas less water means less frequent eruptions. Geysers require very specific conditions to form including a water source here supply and proper geological piping environmental conditions such as drought can throw off that balance and cause the geysers to become an active eth new study published in geochemistry. Geophysics Geosystems and Agu Journal covering research on the chemistry physics geology and biology of earth and planetary processes used wood partially mineralized by steamboat geyser to reconstruct its dormant period and determine its past what causes geyser dry spells the steamboat the world's tallest active. Geyser can shoot water about 115 meters 377 feet into the air for 90 minutes at a time unlike the park's old faithful geyser steamboat doesn't erupt on a predictable schedule with eruption intervals ranging. According to the USGS now researchers want to understand why geyser activity has increased and decreased over the centuries. When steamboat erupts geyser hot jets of water coat nearby trees with silica a mineral that can prevent decomposition this silica is slowly covered the trees eventually killing them while preserving their wooden structure as a result dead trees surrounding geysers can survive for centuries longer than normal making them a useful tool for studying geyser history. For us this is an advantage because if it wasn't for civilization we wouldn't have had any trees until now large pole pines make up almost all of Yellowstone's forest however they have an average lifespan of only 150 to 200 years Hurwitz and his team took advantage of this preservation process and collected samples of silicate wood from as little as 14 meters 46 feet from the geyser. In the case of Steamboat we found no silicious wood tree remains with more than 10 or 20 annual rings which suggests to us that trees never grew large in the area said Hurwitz so there's no long period of decades or centuries of sustained growth but with rising global temperatures a prolonged drought in the American West could further reduce Yellowstone's.